How's it going? Uh, late night edition. Just got some information from another cast member um, here at the Cursing Gardener that there that there could be a um, amphibious creature living in the uh, kind of the birdhouse that I put on the ground. So uh, I'm going to take a, a closer look at the real story. I'm going to see if we if we're doing a little night frogging out here. Uh, I've got my... Um, double fox uh double fox that's all that's what they call me friends i'm looking around i don't want to step on anybody that could be a bad scene when you're night frogging uh things you don't want to happen uh, is to feel maybe some jelly underfoot or hear um you know an, a sudden ribbit that wouldn't be a good idea now i'm shining the light here friends uh, i'm gonna try to get a better angle for you let me get a better angle for you real quick here oh one second here night frogging uh <sighs> is he in there guys do you guys see him in there i don't know if he's in is he in there Shh. oh my god i can't see. this is like blair witch of fucking toads and i don't see him guys i don't know if he's in there guys that's so, so crazy all right cursing gardener night frogging i don't know where he is. He could be in there. He's not in there. Maybe he's near me. I don't want to step on him. I'll, I will report back to you and let you know how it goes. It's time for Enjoying Nature. Today we're in the historic forest of Brattleboro, Vermont. Stewardship of the planet is everyone's responsibility. A good policy in regards to nature is to leave no trace. Some of these trees are endangered species, so they're on a protected list. Oh, oh shit. All right, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Thanks for watching Enjoying Nature. Hi, you may have noticed for the past few episodes that I have featured a local organization that I have sought out to support and get more involved with. Um, Common Ground High School was first on the list and they're an amazing secondary school here in the New Haven, Connecticut area that also do tons of wonderful local events such as uh, food and gardening education. Um, you can backtrack to that episode to find out more about what Common Ground does and ways you can get involved and support. We also uh, featured the Connecticut Food Bank for a few weeks, and a few of us here at the Cursing Gardener went out and did some volunteer work with them in Hamden. You can backtrack again and check out what does Connecticut Food Bank need, how can you volunteer or donate if that's something that's interesting to you, or just be inspired by the fact that maybe we're all kind of digging into that kind of local activism wherever we may be. This week we're featuring Arts for Learning Connecticut. And I'm really excited about that because I just learned about the organization myself, but I'm finding out they do really incredible work with youth um, and the arts really are boundless in, in kind of what can be explored and discovered. So for the next several weeks, we'll also feature some information about some of the artists in that organization with a specific focus on black and indigenous people of color. So we want you to know more about who those folks are in our community, what kind of art they're doing and get involved in how you might be able to support Arts for Learning Connecticut. I hope you're having a great week and we'll see you next time. Okay, part two, night number two, second night, night frogging um, out here trying to, um, I'm terrified, let's be honest. There could, anything could happen really, what do you think about? Walking in the dark, I don't like it. Um, but I'm specifically creatures that could be soft underfoot, as I mentioned earlier. Not excited if I accidentally, um, yep, don't want to do it. So I'm looking at, uh, right now, delicate. There's a lot of moths out here, guys. I mean, it's like a moth festival. Let me see if I could get on the real, the real story here with this moth dance, this sort of moth, um, can you see the moth ballet? I just, maybe, look at that. 
it's like a some kind of I don't know what they're I don't know what they're doing. It's just a beautiful thing. Ow! Oh, here comes the mosquitoes. You knew that was gonna happen, friends, when we were talking about going outside at dark. Uh, that's when they come out. They smell it. And they just can't wait. Jeez, more of these moths. It's just crazy out here. That's the real story, friends. Moths at night doing a ballet. We didn't even know about it. Secret worlds of creatures. Uh, more to come. <laughs> Okay, like I said last time, this is on the first time we tried this, I had just gotten an anonymous tip from a uh, cast member here at the Curse and Gardener who informed me that there is a frog in the proximity of uh, the camera crew. So we're moving slowly. I got a little nervous, felt a squish. It's just grass, wet grass. Uh, we're moving slowly in that direction, friends. We're trying to head over to, um, I'll show you kind of if I could... This is going to be tough. This is some this is some technical work with um whoa boy. Here we go. Okay. Technical work here. Uh the path is is uh being illuminated. There could be a frog at any moment, which is terrifying but awesome because that's what night frogging's all about, right? It's the uh, oh boy, we're getting close. I know we're in the proximity of uh the reported frog. Now, someone said on the stairs. Um I just, there's the stairs, okay? Do you see them? I don't see them, guys. I don't see them. Oh, my God. I hear a noise. I don't know what's going to happen right now, really. Oh, it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. could be under a leaf. could be above a leaf. Um, They like leaves. Ah, oh, God, I'm terrified. What if... Ah! Guys, I found it. I found it, guys. Guys! Uh, can you see him? Can you see him? Night frogging. Ah! I wonder. Jeez Louise. All right. Okay. This is sorry about the screaming. I just, you know, night frogging. I'm new at it. So I'm just getting my chops. Um, but I'm here uh, live on location with Ben the Frog. He's using the, um, the light that you see here for catching bugs. And um, he's got a whole thing going on. A whole, um, can you see Ben, everybody? There he is, Ben. We're not touching him for real, though, folks, because we don't want to up upset or disrupt nature. We just want to observe it. But Ben's, um, he's an innovative frog, you know, and he's got the, uh, the side light here on the staircase that he can use so that when bugs come round, that, that's how he snacks it out. So, uh, really excited. Our, uh, finally a successful night frogging we'll definitely do it again not the kind of frogging where you collect them to eat though that's not how we roll here at the cursing gardener this is just a, a gentle observation uh with a really cool dude named ben so um night frogging successful finally ben doing your thing we're not gonna hurt you buddy and uh 
We'll talk to you soon. All right, real deal. Second friend I found. Um, they're literally everywhere. You really got to be careful where you step. Night frocking or toting. I guess we should call it night toting, shouldn't we? Uh, look at this dude. Not Ben. Whoa, buddy. Buddy. He just did it. Did you see that? That was the bomb. Awesome. Or toting. I guess we should call it night toting, shouldn't we? Uh, look at this dude. Not Ben. Whoa, buddy! Buddy! He just did it. Did you see that? That was the bomb. Awesome.